What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides and more. And today I'm going to be covering everything that the new Lampadati Furor GT has to offer including the price of it, what customizations it has available to it, how this car ranks against other sports vehicles, which real life car it's modeled after, whether or not I believe it's worth the money, and a couple of more interesting details that you're going to want to hear whether you plan on purchasing it or even if you already have it. To start off, the Furor GT can be purchased on the legendarymotorsport.net in-game website for the hefty price of $448,000. If you're not keen on dropping almost half a million dollars on a car you've never tried before, be sure to try it in single player by going to your garage, hitting right on the D-pad, and then selecting the Furor GT from the list. I always recommend this tip when DLC comes out because a lot of people don't know, and it's just an excellent way to test drive cars for free before you purchase them in GTA Online. This car sports the cool Furor name, which in Italian stands for Fury, Rage, and passion. This car's design is heavily inspired by the Alfieri concept sports car from Maserati and shares near identical features with only some minor differences. This is quite fitting because the GTA 5 car manufacturer of the Fuhrer GT is the Lampadati which is Rockstar's take on Maserati sharing many similar traits. Onto customizations and modifications, unfortunately this car doesn't have many. There's no real visual upgrades that you can make besides the usual ones such as window tints or changing the tires and the tire colors, and it also doesn't have an option for a spoiler which puts it at a major disadvantage in races. It does have a primary and secondary paint job though which leads to some pretty cool combination. Now in terms of performance and how well the Fuhrer GT does in its class, the news isn't that good. Initial testing shows that the Elegy and Massacre still hold a dominating lead with the Carbon Nazaire in 3rd, Fuhrer GT in 4th, and the Coquette in 5th. It really doesn't have what it takes to go against the top sports cars in this class. It takes a big hit from not having a spoiler and it also doesn't have the best sound at high revs. The pros of this vehicle is that it looks very sleek and unique. With that being said, don't purchase this vehicle if you plan on making your main racer. It's incredibly expensive for its lack of performance and definitely not something I would suggest if you want to race all the time. I would suggest purchasing this vehicle if you really enjoy the way it looks and have test drove it in single player to ensure that it would be a vehicle you would continue to enjoy and not just scrap it a little while later. Anyway guys, that's everything I have on the Fuhrer GT, it's basically everything you need to know before purchasing the vehicle and there's some interesting things in this video too if you've already purchased it. What I want to know is will you be purchasing the Fuhrer GT and if you've already purchased it, what do you think about it? Be sure to leave a comment below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video and haven't already, do be sure to press that subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new videos daily. Also be sure to check out my Twitter at twitter.com typicalgamer. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.